This call is being recorded. Good morning. Good morning again. Uh, thank you so much. Um, this is Calandra with Equitape, and we have Jeanette James on the line. She is a recently certified Equitaping practitioner. Congratulations, Jeanette. Um, can you go ahead and introduce uh, yourself to the audience? Thank you. Uh, Jeanette James, I'm in uh, Illinois, central area, and I've been an equine massage therapist since the year 2000. Um, I've always done it on a part-time basis, and I do a variety of horses, but predominantly dressage and show horse uh, eventers. Awesome. And what inspired you uh, to begin working on horses through physical therapy? It just kind of came to me being a horse person, and uh, 21 years ago, it was not very well known around here. I think on the east and west coast, it was more, but not not in the mid-America. And um, it was something I knew I could do. Um, been around horses my entire life, and um, my dad was a chiropractor, so the body work angle I'm used to, and yeah, I went for it. Awesome. And what inspired you to add Equitape to your practice? Well, that's a uh, kind of a funny story. <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to hearing it. <laughs> I, I, at one time I had um, a little um, equine massage therapist uh, Facebook group, just kind of a real private group where we could just kind of talk shop. And um, I have to credit it to Mike Scott, if you know who he is. Um, He's one of our uh, excellent massage therapy uh, instructors and also uh, therapist, and I'm taking a lot of additional from him. And we were talking about taping in that group, and I I just couldn't see why in the world anybody would want to do it. I'm already I'm already moving hair and skin and creating space. Right. It did not make any sense at all. Period. And we all kind of argued about it and this and that, and I just forgot about it, let it go. It didn't make sense. And then one day he he said, boy, I can't believe what this stuff does. And he went on to explain some things, and I'm like, yeah, go dang it. I'm going to have to go learn this <laughs> So, because I know he's not going to lie to me. So, um, And he was just talking in general, not specifically to me, but in that conversation. And, and I was just like, oh. So that started my quest on uh, getting certified. Okay. Now, um, you have experience with other kinds of tape, or did you have other training before you joined the equitaping community? I did. I went through the rock tape uh, models. And so I'd already been certified as FMT through them. Mm-hmm. And um because you can't get that tape anymore, and they've just completely dropped everything. And not only that, but they even took out my online seminar that you could access. Um, I started buying Equitape. And from Equitape, I saw your courses, and then I got in your course, and I'm like, oh, wow, this is like absolutely nothing I've had from anyone before. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just, I've had to kind of unlearn and and relearn and try not to fall back into other patterns that I was taught as far as how sure. to do things and so forth and thought process and yeah. Sure. So I've been I very actually, thrilled with what yeah. I've learned here. Okay. Um yeah, I actually start off with uh, rock tape as well, so I totally understand. Um and yeah. use the tape and then was taught with a rock tra- tape trained person, which I'm grateful because that's how I found out about Elastic kinesiology tape for horses, but man, what a difference when I discovered Equitape. Oh yeah, the focus, the goals, the applications, that it's so much more results oriented and technical. Yeah. There is a lot of uh, possibilities. I think the biggest thing for me was, um, you know, realizing that especially Equitape Advantage um, with the stretch and the adhesive, it challenged me. Uh, to think outside of the box and to to think bigger, um, to not just focus yeah. on a small area of the horse, but to say what application could I design to influence the entire horse? 
Right. And um, it's more than just putting a piece of tape on an area because it bothers you. And mm-hmm. actually, that's how I first tried it. I tried it on myself first. I had a, a place, I had a foot that was bothering me. And I tried it on that foot first. And I was shocked at the difference it made in my foot. Yeah. In fact, I don't use it on my foot anymore. It's taken care of. But right. um, that was about the only place I could put it. Um and and this is just uh, the Equitype methodology is just so much more and so much other that you know I wish I would have gone this way first I would have saved myself hundreds of dollars in time. Sure. Hey, well, we're we're glad to have you on board. Um, I notice you, you know, I do a lot of uh, the social media for Equitape, and um, your name would pop up often. And I was like, oh, who is this person? She's really excited about tape, and I um, mean, it was Me. just. Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> really I'm not done yet. That. Right. I've got this little massage, uh, little massage Canva post thing that I'm gonna. I have created a couple, but I'm also going to start creating them on um, the taping. That's long been in my mind and it's been on the back burner because of my other ventures that I'm in and I haven't continued with that process. I have to I have to be in design mode to put those together. <laughs> it's got to be in my head. So um, on those creative days when this is the focus, then I'll start popping a bunch of them out. But you're going to see more. And as I get better um, photos of what I'm doing and, and I'm I, it takes some practice. Yeah, it does. I'm so jealous of those perfect tapings I see, and I know that I'm not there yet. <laughs> oh, no worries. You but, know, I was a little bit of a slow learner when I started. Um, you know, I get yeah. stuck in my hair. It would, it just didn't make sense to me. You know, I struggle a little bit with dyslexia. And so, you know, I was learning these concepts. I, you know, the the horses were so patient with me as I practiced, but um, you know, every barn I went to, I would tape every horse that I possibly could. And a few months later, you know, something like switched in me where I felt like I got the touch, right? I'm like, I, I know how to yeah. do this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, and I understand that because when you first work with the tape, it's like, it's like you're an octopus and the tape is everywhere. And it's like, what? You know, and you're <laughs> ripping it off and starting over. And, oh, well, look at that. That's just a mess. Nope. And then I finally figured out how to, you know, smoothly put it on and different things like that. So at least I had that much pretty well out of the way. But the don't touch the sticky part, that was like, don't touch the sticky. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. You got to pop it, don't pick it. Um, even mm. today, even my husband, I was like, babe, you've seen me tape a thousand times and he still tries to like pick the paper backing off of it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Aww. So um, I'm getting a whole lot better about that. But yeah, I get it. Or the wind is there and, you know, it's like, oh, okay, you know, working with tape. But it's, 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 the more you do it, the easier it is, the slicker you're at it and, and the more comfortable you are. Yeah. 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 Well, how has uh, incorporating, uh, equine elastic kinesiology tape uh, change your practice, how how you treat horses or work on horses? Well, as I'm going through and I'm finding those problem areas and, and I, I see what um, what needs more help, you know, I'm able to focus on that or as I'm talking with a client and, you know, maybe we just really need some, some SI support or... Um, Maybe we're not like the one just had trouble turning his head one direction, and he would always sort of tilt his head with with a lot of it. He wouldn't carry his head straight, and you know everything under the sun had been tried, and nothing was really quite helping. But the tape did <laughs> one taping, and he started immediately changing around. Um, so those kinds of things are are you know extremely helpful to the rider and to the horse. Yeah. Um and I know that after I get done, like you know, it it I'm not gonna be the world's best myofascial person. I'm just I've learned it. I'm a certified level one, but I am far more a massage person than I'll probably ever be totally great at MSR. Um but with the tape, I know I can take that tape and go over that with the fascial taping. And it's continuing yeah. to work. 
for a long time after I'm gone. Yeah. And yeah. so anything that I do, I know, continues to work on those areas and those areas that are so reactive. And I'm not going to use certain words because we're not supposed to. But, you know, I'm those areas that just don't feel good, things that really uh, show you that horse needs some extra help, I can go ahead and tape that. And yeah. um, I have customers who have had it used on themselves, so they really get it. And they like it. Yes, and it's something that you can even teach your clients how to do the basic applications and so that horse is benefited between sessions. You know, some of my clients right. uh, are all about learning it. They're like, yeah, teach me. Other ones are like, no, just come back next week. Um, but it really yeah. is something that is has uh, made uh, therapeutic modalities or equine body work, I think, more approachable uh, to equestrians of all levels. Well, and with Equitape, I've got the methodology and the tools to start to, as you say, think outside the box. And what is the goal here? What are we trying to to accomplish? What can happen? How can I tape? Mm -hmm. So um, I was talking with Rebecca yesterday, and she asked me a question about a taping I was doing, and I was just like, I never thought of that, you know, <laughs> because I'm I'm just used to putting tape on and walking away. I mean, that's kind of what we were taught, put some tape there and walk away. It's it's not uh, also how to take it further to help them continue to um, improve or or increase muscle or, or whatever we're trying to do there. So I just know I have a whole lot more to learn, and I'm looking forward to that. And I, and I know I'm not going to learn it overnight. You just don't get as good as somebody as you guys are in two days it takes well time. i think you're you're very far ahead of most people you'd be surprised um we definitely look forward to you growing in your skill levels and um it's just it's one of those modalities that i see it as a a, a creative outlet as well you know i, I do it part-time um and i love treating horses uh but it's it's really therapeutic for me to be able to create a design and just there's something about the colors yeah. and moving with the stripes and watching the horse's facial expressions. Like it's really fun for me to use equitation. <laughs> I, I think the colors are fun. We need white and we need <laughs> what other color did we say? <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm like, okay, what color do you want today? You know, shall we make right. this one pink or what should we do? Yep. <laughs> yep. I'm like, oh, Jeanette, you're getting carried away with the colors. Uh, what's the color <laughs> coordination? Is this bar in red and black? Okay, I'm going to put you all in red and black. Where before yep. I, I really had one color with horseshoes on it, and now it's it. <laughs> That's right. Um, yeah. Colors are great. We just need more colors. Orange. Would be I know. Yes. So, oh, I know. Um, There's purple. so many. Oh, we're, 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 I know Aquatapes are uh, thinking about it and working on it. Um, you know, I've personally requested like a thousand different colors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, and we get requests all the time. And um, you know, uh, so so stay tuned for that one. Uh, but what what would you say to other healthcare practitioners that uh, are on the fence about learning Aquatape? Well, it really does work, and even though, you know, as a massage therapist, my goodness, I'm skin rolling, I'm cross-fibering, I'm moving tissue. Yeah, I'm, I'm raising, I'm raising skin, you know, and you, like, yeah, I'm creating space, but it's not, it's not the same. And I think to use it on yourself first and see what it feels like, especially if you've got some problem areas, Put it on yourself because um, you'll begin to see what happens. I know I tend to um, just naturally throw my, my back out a little bit because I've got one leg that's always going to be a little shorter. And so I find if I just put a wide piece of tape across my lower back with a certain amount of stretch, that stabilizes me throughout working on horses and so forth. And I don't get the... You know, I, I don't get the achiness after I've worked on a, a bunch of horses in one day or over two or three days. Um, and you'll find that how it helps yourself, it, it helps them. And and I think you just, uh, you see how much they like it. You see how yeah. they react to it when you put it on them. Yep. So it tells you that while you've done a great work with your massage, your your therapies, your other stuff that you're using, um, 
they still give you a response to that tape, so there's still something going on that yeah. needs it addressed. And the thing I probably, you know, I I do use oil sometimes, but I'm got to be careful with that because of the tape, you know. And um, that's about it. I mean, it, it just it works. It's it's something you can do to help them, and it continues yeah. to help after you've left. And just Absolutely. from my own experience, eventually some of what you're addressing, that tape takes it away over time, yeah. and it doesn't mm-hmm. come back. Mm-hmm. It really. So I'm real happy with it. Moment. You know, <laughs> I'm so happy to hear yeah. it, and we're happy to have you on the team. Um, just it's something that can just help so many horses. Um, what one thing that I love about it, you know, I love to be able to spend two hours with a horse. Uh, but, you know, time, efficiency, weather, uh, it, we don't always get that opportunity. Um, but if I can have 15 minutes even to go out and to help a horse, sometimes a client will call me and say, oh, my horse fell or he's about to have dental surgery. Um, I can stop by the barn and put on an application that I know is going to help that horse for the entire week um, and teach them how yeah. to do it if it needs to be replied. Um, so it really is, once you get good at it, a time saver. Um, or you can get a lot of, um, uh, what is it? I, I call it a lot of bang for your buck, uh, to, to be able to give something to the horse in a short amount of time. And, and I love that. Yeah. I'm going to go tape two here in a few days that are, uh, traveling down to Florida just for their trailer ride. You know, she would like yeah. to have that support to help study them on the way down. Yeah. And, um, it's, you know, going to do it. That's all yeah. I'm going to do. I'm not going to sure. massage. I'm not going to anything else. I'm just going to go take. Oh, and I love it. That's great. Oh, yes, ma'am. So, um, well, well, real quick, I see that you are also involved in saddle fitting. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, I um, I came through that over time. Um my massage instruction was also, you know, of course, touching on saddle fitting big time because obviously if they don't fit right, we have trouble. And then I was a, a collaborator for a county saddlery here in Illinois for a couple, three years, and she taught me a, a lot more to uh, adjust wolf locking. And since then, I, I'm no longer with her, but uh, I do sell the the Bates and Wintech line, and that's its own system. So I really concentrate more on that now, and I do check saddle fit on different horses. And, um, you know, if I can adjust a wolf locking, I, I will if it needs to be. But that also helps us find those problems. And if you've got an area of reactivity, that would be another reason to tape over those areas to help relieve those muscles. Absolutely. Oh, there's so much. Well, I could chat with you all day. I just thank you so much for your time. Uh, We hope to connect with you again soon. Maybe we'll uh, do a video interview and (laughs) we both have time to put. um, Yeah, when we're both presentable. (laughs) (laughs) I know it's it's just with with COVID and just technology. I mean, it's just in general. um, We are all a professional. uh, What is it? A I, sometimes I'll put on suit jackets on top if I'm on a Zoom meeting on my laptop, but then I'll still have my yeah. you know, exercise pants on. <laughs> <laughs> I just, never get that professional. <laughs> right? <laughs> for, me, for me, professional is getting some makeup on, doing my hair, and throwing on my polo shirt that's got my name and stuff on it. And that's about as professional looking as I get, but um, I'm... Awesome. Uh, yeah, a, a Zoom video would be fine sometime, yeah. Um, oh, well, we'd love it. But I'm, I'm just glad that I made the connection and, and I'm just the ongoing support that you guys give and everything that's there is just awesome. So I'm looking forward to just learning more and more and more and, and getting better at this and maybe stop having to look at the book all the time, <laughs> but I do look at the book. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. don't go back on what you know. Go to the book. Look, look, look. Make sure you're right. So... I I have no qualms about pulling my stuff out in front of everybody and figuring out what I'm going to do. Absolutely. 
Um, and, you know, we are still talking about, um, especially as COVID restriction lift, uh, doing more in-person practicums because there's really nothing like yeah. learning in person and connecting with the instructors. Right. Um, you know, I've done both. Um, it's, it's funny to watch myself on the, the Equitape uh, online courses. Um, and then when I'm in person, uh, so I, I hope I get the pleasure of working with you in person one day uh, to, to help more horses, maybe do a clinic in Illinois. Uh, but just to let our listeners know, uh, this is Jeanette James, and you're with Equine Sports Massage Therapy, correct? Is that the name of your, your business? It's a little longer. The name of my business is me. It's Jeanette James, Equine Sports Massage Therapy. Okay. I was, uh, you know, what kind of cutesy name would I come up with? What would be catchy? And I finally said, you know what? That just says it all. It's who I am and what I do. So it's pretty plain and simple. Wonderful. Now, you're on Facebook. Now, is there a website that clients can connect with you at? And you're based mainly out of Illinois, correct? Right. It's JeanetteJames.Horse. Wonderful. And that's my website. Awesome. Are yeah, you I'm, on I'm any other social media? Illinois. Okay. Instagram. Instagram. Instagram, Facebook, and my website. Um, you know, uh, I sometimes do horses further away, but I mostly stay in the central Illinois area. Okay. Awesome. Well, we look forward to more of your posts in the group and in the practitioner forum. And uh, thank you so much, and congratulations on your certification. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Nice to talk to you. Bye. Uh, you too. Bye.